Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. I'm Matt Pullen, and this is our place to share all about how to use your iPad creatively in your classrooms. If you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to subscribe, and then you'll be kept up to date on everything that we release. Now let's get stuck into today's video. Hey, great, so let's get stuck into pages. And in this video, we're gonna look at how we can edit text within the document. And again, please remember you can do this across Keynote and Numbers as well, but we're gonna focus on this from a pages point of view and what we can do with it. So I'm gonna jump back into that document we were in before. I'm just gonna to start to think about what text I might want to add on the screen. Now, again, a couple of ways that you can do this as a basic, word processor I can type directly on the screen you can see I've got my flashing cursor here that I can then type into that space and it's just going to keep flowing across uh, so let's just start again with something nice and simple hello everyone now that's one way I can add text I can also add text by tapping on the plus up here going to the shapes and then going all the way back to the start to basic and you'll see that I can have a text box that text box allows me to move it anywhere on the screen. And this is a kind of design thought process for you. Where do you want your text to go? Having your, your text here means that if I move anything around, it's going to move. Having the text in this box means I have control of exactly where I want to place that text. Let's say that I want, you know, hello everyone to stay at the top, but I want something else to be down the bottom. Having a text box means I can easily move it to that place on the screen. So let's just... Um, type something in here let's just go with pages so that's another way you can add in now there is a third way that you can do this all of these shapes that you can see here they are all text boxes they're just pre-formatted text boxes which means they come with a shape or a style already on them for example if i add in this square with the rounded edge i can just type directly into this Okay, and you can see that just appear on the screen, but in exactly the same way, if I go to any of these shapes, let's go to some education shapes and choose the book, I can do exactly the same here and type directly onto this shape. Okay, now obviously because my text is so big, I've lost that text on the screen. So this is where the format button comes in by tapping on here and choosing text. Let's just say I want to make that text a little bit smaller. And you can see that, well, one, I can't spell pages, and two, that that text now appears on that page. And again, you can play around with different things. Um, you know, I could even take this text, turn it white so that it shows up, take that text box and layer that over the top of something. Oops. It appears I didn't actually change that text white. Let's just go back in. Ah, I know. I've got it behind. I'm just going to arrange that just so you can see it. So let's drop that behind. There we go. So I've got this text box kind of floating over the top. Yeah. So you can see how that works. And again, it moves the text around. So again, there's a whole design thing you can play around with there. But for this, we're just looking at adding text in various different ways. So let's separate these back out. And let's turn that text so we can still see it. Okay, so this is uh, the design process. Now let's say we want to do some other things with this text here. Let's take this one for example. Up here I can change the style. So again, although I've got a text box here, I can turn this into a text box of sorts. We're just changing the style at the top. You'll see the whole text box changes colour in the background. I actually want to go back to having it this style. Just so I can show you some of the other features. I can also fill that text box manually with gradients, etc., and there's all sorts of you know different things that you can do here. Image being a great one as well, so you can have text directly over the image. We can add borders, so I've got a border around that box. There's different styles that you can have, so depending on how you want that to look on your page, and there's so much design that you can do with this, it's, it's really incredible. You can add shadows, so you can see now that that box looks like it's standing off the page a little bit. Okay, so just again that design process, I'm going to get rid of these just so you can see exactly what's happening here. Um, and, and so on and so forth. Reflection is a nice one, you see that it just kind of gives that looks like it's on a glass table or something. Um, and also opacity, so you can have it a little bit more see-through. And that's really useful if you want something hidden behind it or playing around with different design things. This isn't going to be a whole design video, this is just talking about how to play around with the text. So let's say that I'm going to take that text now, um, I'm going to 
position it in the middle, center it to the page. You can see there's lots of other things that you can play with here in terms of the size, uh, the font, the, the boldness, lots and lots of things. I'm going to make it nice and big on my page. There we go. So just by upping that, I could have, again, I could have just tapped down here and done the same thing. Again, lots of different ways to do it. Actually, I've dropped that opacity, so let's bring that opacity back up. Now the text itself I can also play around with. So now I've, this is playing around with the text box. So I've selected the whole text box. If I select on the text itself, I actually get a different set of tools up here that I can play around with. And this one here, this these three dots, this is like where the hidden magic is, okay? So there's things behind this three dots that you just need to know exist because they are so cool for designing things. So I'm going to tap on those three dots and you'll see on here you can very, very quickly change things to small caps, to capitals, uh, title case, start case, etc, etc. This is the bit that kind of blows my mind in terms of design because it's where you can start to have a lot of fun. So I'm going to tap on outline and then I can choose the line type. And then you'll see as soon as I change the colour that that is now going to give me an outline for that text. Okay. So you can start to play around with all sorts of different things here. And there's so much that you can do with this to really think about design. You can change the width of everything you're doing, really play around with some of the design styles in this. Now, the text color itself is back in this text page. So I can play around with that, I might change a gradient. You can see that I've got kind of the gradient which matches the background gradient. But now because I've outlined that text, it gives a completely different feel to what I'm looking at, okay? So it matches the color behind. It basically looks a little bit see-through. You could you could have it that way. Another uh, way to do it if I go to the text and go to gradient is flip that. And again, you get a really nice kind of contrast with so much fun that you can have in terms of this just design process with your text. Now, instead of just having it as text uh, with the color as a background, I can also go into the paintbrush, go to the text color, and go to image and you'll see now you have the choice here to choose different images which means you can go to your camera roll you can search for things that you might want to use um what should we take let's take this nice uh, shadow and light scene here and i can add that in as a background to my text as well so again you know really bring things to life and have yourself as educators or have your students really play around with the design of what they want that text to look like on the page so that's it. Just going to stop there. We're just looking at text, how we can add text, how we can play around with text, how we can use different shapes as text boxes on your page from a design point of view.